birthday. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm saying! And with this broken shard, MV, are you still watching? This is for you, buddy. This is for you. And with this broken shard, I shall come over here and puncture this rubber hose this and you. open up Brimcliff Mine. Look at that! Did that complete the projector? No, it didn't. Two parts restored. Still need something else. I bet I need to open it. Uh, and for that, I'm going to need... I'm going to need a knocker. Not that knocker. A different knocker altogether. Where is my knocker? And I'm also going to need... Uh, I'm also going to need that knocker signal from the chart. Fatui says, I think I read somewhere that Sony was going to remove HDCP from PS4 so people can capture from it. I didn't see where it's going to be done. Yes, you read that uh, correctly. I read that as well. I, I don't think it's going to be with the 1.7 update. Uh, 1.7 does a lot of cool stuff, but I don't think that it does that. I think they said that uh, they're going to do that, but I think it's going to be after 1.7, uh, if I remember correctly. Okay, where is the... Oh, man, that stupid thing isn't here. Okay, I know for a fact that I've seen that... Uh, I've seen that chart. That chart is somewhere here in the village that's got the, the knocker codes for the uh, for the tin pipe on it. That's somewhere here in the village. Uh, where was it? Was it in the cider distillery? Hmm. <laughs> If anybody remembers where that uh, where that chart was that has the uh, the knocker codes for the uh, for the mine signals, feel free to shout out. I know it's here, I just don't remember where. No. No, 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 no. Where did I see it? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? I'm going to warn you right now that uh, what we're doing here may very well result in me running through every building in the village again looking for this stupid thing. That could happen. Pretty sure it's not in the church. Pretty sure it's not in the school. I was just in the both of those places. Don't remember seeing it. I thought it was a business. I thought it was a business. Um... That was my impression, anyway. Maybe it was. Oh, you know what? Maybe it was in the. Uh, maybe it was in the uh, the export uh, house. Maybe it was upstairs there. The puzzles in that area. It would make sense that. It would make sense that it would be be there. <coughs> Excuse me. About shouted myself hoarse again. All right, here we go. Come on, be here, be here, be here, be here, be here. Where are you? Where are you? You're not out here. I know you're not. Checking anyway. Upstairs in the office, maybe? I know there's that, I think there's that map upstairs. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. In my head, I can see a big white sign hanging on the wall. Ha-ha! Here we go. Receive from Industrial Center. Receive from Brimcliff Mine. Send shipment to dock ready to export. Man entering cage. All right, let me take a picture of this. All right. Got to pick. There's a couple of different ways this could go. I think... Uh, probably what we're going to be doing here is we've got a shipment ready for export. That's probably what we need to uh, what we need to be doing because, you know, this is the export house. We you know we're setting up you know the shipment board and everything. This is all about export. There's a big sign that says export on it. So I'm thinking that we need to hit the pipes in the manner necessary to set up an export. That part of the sign is also faded a lot, which I always thought was 
you know, kind of a clever way of, of making the, it a little bit more difficult. So let's see, it is A times 4, B times 2, A times 2. A times 4, B times 2, A times 2. Here we go. Finding our favorite hill and looking out over our favorite view. Closing our garden gate for the last time. Onto green pastures. Done and done. I am very, very happy about that. Now then, what I would like to know now... Hey, look! Is he? Another knocker. Hang on. Let me, let me take this knocker back. Because you never know when you might need it. And let me pick this one up. His hands were shaking with fear. There was no use trying to hide it. The lamp handle was rattling and the light was dancing all over the place. Sweet! It far more scary than it actually was. You okay? Asked Andy, trying not to laugh. What are we doing? Barked Rob. Looking for the knocker, remember? He must not be here, Andrew offered disappointedly. Can you hear the sounds of the marketplace? The people, uh... People hanging around? Here. If he was in here, you'd be a goner already. At that moment, three loud bangs echoed through the whole mine shaft. Oh, crap! cried Bob. What the hell was that? Andrew said nothing. Again, three loud bangs, followed by three more. They're getting closer! Rob yelled. More banging and more banging. Rob felt paralyzed, and Andrew just stood behind him, saying nothing. The banging got closer and closer until a figure could be seen. Something. What was it? Moving closer and closer, banging all the time. Oh, God! What are we going to do? cried Rob. And just then, the figure came into the light. It was their little brother. Harry! yelled Rob. Andrew fell to the floor laughing. That was priceless, Rob. And there you have it. All right. So here we here we are, and I find myself in an interesting situation because I I was convinced that this was going to open up and be the entrance to the Brimcliff Mine, but uh, not apparently so. So I'm left now puzzling over. All right, number one. You know what? Just for the sake of thoroughness, let's uh, let's not leave a rubber hose unpunctured. Well, it certainly sounded like that opened something, didn't it? But what? Maybe that's maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe you can puncture it there or puncture it outside and maybe it just unlocks the same thing. I don't know. It certainly sounded as though something got opened there. But I don't see I don't see anything. I guess uh I guess just to just to explain my thought process a bit, I suppose that, you know, that sign, uh, the one that was up here, you've used three, or two, pardon me, you've used two of the, uh, two of the codes on this sign.
you use the uh, receive from Brimcliff mine in the um, you use that in the uh, in the industrial center to uh, unlock one of the puzzles there. And I thought before before I realized that that last puzzle was was more about export. It was more about solving you know this projector in this area. I was thinking that you would use this man entering the cage, uh, this man entering the cage thing, to uh, to enter the mine. I guess I figured at some, and then I thought maybe like once you were in the mine, you would use this receive from industrial center code. Like that was that was kind of what I thought was going to happen, um, and it didn't. Now, here's a few things that are going through my mind. I'm wondering, number one, did puncturing this, uh, did puncturing this pipe in any way, did this have something to do with, there is a, there is a cage, there is a, a lift back in the industrial center that I could never open. I could never get the cage door open. I could never go in there. I wonder if, I wonder if I shouldn't uh, maybe try the man entering the cage code here, just to see what happens. Can't hurt to try it. I tried all four of the codes in the other mine, and it uh, it didn't it didn't do anything. So let's try retrieving and dumping the one. That's one one three one three one. No. Let's try man entering cage. It's three four three. No, nothing. Okay. So apparently I'm wrong, uh, and maybe the entrance to Brimcliff Mine is still maybe that's still a Don't mystery. You, down by the docks, you know you're not allowed down by the docks. Yes, ma'am. Again, I can't help but thinking that puncturing that pipe a second time did open something that I'm just not seeing. I don't know. That's the that is the agony and the ecstasy of the game is not knowing. All right. Back to the case. 14 of 20 projectors. Only thing left is the church. Introduction. You can fill Place sheet music. Tune piano. Found all church way. bells. No matter what we threw at it, it always survived. All right. Let's head back up that way. So you guys can hear the... You can hear the sound of people, um, people in the square here. You know, I don't know if I'm going to have need of this teapot, but let's not take chances. I'm also not going to risk letting that out of my sight. All right, so thus far, the only clue I've got to go on is the uh, this carafe. This carafe that appears both here in the bar as well as back in the uh, back in the church. Uh, MV said that this was uh, probably used for coffee. So something very similar to it. It's got like a little like grinder in the bottom. I haven't found any coffee beans. I haven't found any anything that would uh, that would allow me to use that for coffee. Uh, in the context of the bar here, it totally makes sense uh, that somebody would use it for coffee or tea. Um. Let's see, Cannon Go Boom is saying that uh, I think you still need to ring the bells. The notes go from low to high. Alright, let's try it. I'm game. <laughs> 